The types of sanctions invoked under by the graded. The solid shots. The armor piercing shell, the sterling ammunition, is the most basic shell we are going to find in the game. It uses kinetic energy to penetrate the armor and the spalling to destroy targets inside the tank. Our first upgrade is the APC shell. It uses a softer metal cap which bends when impacting a target at an angle which helps its penetration against angled targets. Our next upgrade is the APBC shell. It uses a ballistic kelp improving performance over longer ranges. Our final solid shot is the APCBC shell which combines the caps of the APC and APBC shells. It has the bonuses of both shells without the downside. It's the definite AP shell you are going to be using, especially at to mid game. The Armor Piercing High Explosive APHE The APHE shell uses an explosive filler inside the normal AP shell to increase post penetration damage. The explosives inside the shell can detonate depending on the fuse of the shell. It can use the APC and APBC caps to help with performance. This is going to be your definite shell especially on World War II or early Cold War. The subcaliber rounds. With the improvements on armor on heavier tanks like the KV-1, the solid AP shells were not enough. As a solution, the subcaliber rounds used a denser and a smaller core surrounded by a shell. The APCR, it is a dense and a smaller core surrounded by a lighter shell. Although it has more penetration due to the denser material, it's weaker on longer ranges or against angled armor. Its post penetration damage is also weak, requiring more than one hit. Armor piercing discarding saber runt. It has better performance than the APCR and the shell gets discarded after firing. Although it has better performance, it still has a weaker post penetration damage. The armor piercing fin stabler discarding saber runt. It's the main ammunition of the most modern battle tanks, and it's going to be your ammunition on the late or end game. It uses fins to stabilize, improving accuracy. It also has very high velocity and penetration against targets. The Explosive Shells HE Shell It's a shell full of explosive, useful against lighter vehicles, but against more modern or heavily armored tanks it requires a large caliber gun and aiming for the weak spots of the tank. The HE shell can also be used against aircraft with its time fuse or proximity fuse. The high explosive squash hit shell, useful against light vehicles or fortifications. 
use the shockwaves to tear pieces of the armor and launch them into the tank like spalling. The chemical shells The high explosive anti-tank shell It uses explosive and a copper core to penetrate the armor The explosion launching a jet of molten copper Due to the spin caused by the rafting on the earlier cannons The earlier hit shells lose performance The high explosive anti tank fin stabilized runs. It's an improvement version of the earlier heat runs. It uses fins to stabilize and rifling on the cannons are removed. It's used by most modern battle tanks. The heat effect shells could be stopped by explosive reactor armor ERA or composite armor which are common amongst many modern battle tanks. Reaper hold. Reaper hold. Reaper hold. Panzer, 